What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Giants. Back with another one. <laughs> okay, so we on the third selection for Mr. Gary Bailey Jr. Uh, he sponsored this particular video also. Wait for Love by Luther Vandross. Uh, this song is in the key of E flat and um nice tune and um definitely was i'm definitely familiar with this one definitely remember listening to this so i'm um, growing up and um man nice tune and it's not really all that hard so we're gonna jump right into it all right you got this is the intro second time is So let's go over that. That's how the song starts. That's the intro. So you have an E flat major nine, E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand, G, B flat, D, F on the right hand. So that's basically G minor seven on the right hand over E flat, AKA E flat major nine. So you just kind of play it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a series of two fingered chords. If uh, anyone that is pledging less than $5 a month um, and do not get my chord sheets um, and you decide to purchase it, you'll see on the chord sheet that it says two finger chords and you'll see like F dash D, that means you're playing both of those notes. So you're, you're gonna start with F and D. Okay, so that's the first, you're gonna go. Then you're gonna go. G and E flat, and then you're gonna go back to F and D, F and D. So you got do do do. Okay, so so far you got da da da. Then you're gonna go to D and B flat. Okay, then you're gonna go to B flat and F, B flat and F. And then you're gonna go to F and D. This F down here to D. Okay, and that's what you do the first time. So that's gonna be. I, did I skip this chord? I can't remember if I did. If I did, B flat and F. Hopefully I didn't. And you go there. And then you're gonna end it with a A minor on your right hand. D, A, D on your left hand. So you're going to use a full chord to end it. So that's A minor seven over D. And let me just go over there. I can't remember if I did that. I just want to make sure I show it to you. So you got F and D, G and E flat, F and D again, then D and B flat, B flat and F, F and D, then A minor seven over dad, D A D. And the rhythm is, well, let me do that again, hold up. Right. <laughs> okay, so you're coming off that E major, uh, E flat major nine. Sorry about my webcam doing that. So you play that chord and then you'll go Okay, now the second time you play the E flat major nine again, it's almost the same, but this time you have. So let's look at what we're doing the second time. It's almost the same. You still got the, you start with the F and D. Then you have G and E flat. Now you got B flat and F. This is different. Last time we went da, da, da. Second time is da, da, da. okay, da, da. so that's B flat and F in this octave. Then you come back down to F and D again, and then you're going to do D and B flat, and now you're going to play B flat and F in this octave. So you're going to go from this, you know, this and work your way down to this, and then after this, you just go straight to your A flat minor seven over dad, D A D. Okay, 
So we totally don't play the F and D the second time. Um, when, we, when we played it down here, we don't um, we don't do it the second time. So the second time is. So let's look at the first one again. That's the first one. And then the second one is. Okay, all right. So all you gotta do is just pause the video and rewind it back if you need to go over it over and over again. I'm trying to keep my videos from being so long. I'm trying my best. So all right. So that's your intro, and you actually come back to that. It's almost like a little, a little. I don't know what you want to call it, uh, interlude or something when you coming back to the verse. So you will actually play that again. All right. So when you get to the verse, you have E flat major nine again. D you got okay and then you basically do all those chords again all right so let's go over that so you got e flat major now once the verse starts and we've done this chord all plenty of times already right and <laughs> just in this video e flat b flat e flat on the left hand G minus seven on the right hand, which will be G, B flat, D, and F. Now all you gotta do is you can keep your right hand because your next chord is G minus seven. So you're just gonna take your left hand and do G and D, and then you just go hit on them, play your right hand again. So you're going D and then all right, G minus seven. Now you're gonna go to C minor seven. You're gonna use this inversion. C, G, C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Then we're going to do a B flat minor 7 over E flat. Don't worry about what it says on the screen. It just gives you some stupid way of looking at the chord. <laughs> this is a B flat minor 7, and it's over um, E flat. So you got E flat. B flat and E flat on the left hand, and then you got A flat, B flat, D flat, and F. And to be honest with you, you can add that E flat if you want to. If you add that E flat, it makes it a B flat minor 11. It's okay if you want to add that. You don't have to because you do have the E flat right there. I'll leave that up to you. Okay, then your next chord is going to be an A flat major 9. That's how the bass player usually be slapping that A flat. <laughs> Something like that. But anyway, the chord is A flat and E flat on the left hand. And on the right hand, G, B flat, C, E flat. Okay. Then your next chord is going to be a F diminish. Uh... I think I forgot the type seven right there. Let me do that right now so I don't forget. It's going to be an F diminished seven over A flat. Just want to put that in there now so I don't forget and send it off wrong. So you got F diminished seven over A flat. Okay, so you got A flat, double A flat on your left hand. On your right hand, it looks like a F minor seven with one difference. So you have F A flat B. Okay, and then E flat. The only difference, usually when we do our F minor 7, this B, you're usually playing a C. So if that helps you remember what the F diminished 7 is, just remember, don't play the C, go back to B, a half step. And, then, and that's your F diminished 7. Put it over A flat. And now, as you can look on the screen, this is also an A flat minor 6 chord. But F diminished 7 over A flat is easier for me to remember that. And then you return right back to the E flat major nine chord again. E flat, B flat, E flat, left hand, G, B flat, D, F. Now let me play those series of chords. So you got D, D that's E flat major nine, G minor seven, C minor seven, B flat minor seven over E flat, then A flat major nine, then F diminished seven over A flat, and then 
back to the E flat major seven. Now let me play them again, and this time I'm gonna shut up so I can just play them <laughs> in rhythm the way they're supposed to go. So here's the verse. And then you'll play it again. So E flat major nine again, all those chords again. Sorry about that mistake. Now, you go back to the E flat major nine. Now, the first time we did it, we went to the A flat minor seven over dad. But the second time, you just, when you get to the E flat major nine, just hold it. You're gonna play that for like eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that's the whole verse right there. So we, let me do it one more time. Um, First time, go to the A minor seven over D, and then back to E flat major nine. Don't play the A minor seven. So now after that, we want to go to the pre-chorus. So your pre-chorus is you're going back to the A flat major nine again. I remember that. And that's when you can kind of, you know, what the bass play on a track be like. Something like that. So you can do whatever you want to do right there. But you know, you're, you're going to play your A flat major nine chord. Double A flat on the left hand, right hand, G, B flat, C, E flat. And then you're going to do a D flat nine chord. Not major nine, not minor nine, but diminished nine. D flat uh, nine chord. Easiest way to remember it is that your right hand is playing an F diminished seven chord, which we already did and I already explained. The only difference between F minor seven and F diminished seven is just the C being put to B. So if you can just remember uh, F diminished seven and just put it over D flat, and there go your D flat nine chord, okay? So D flat, A flat, D flat, and then F, A flat, B, E flat. Then you're going to return to E flat major nine for eight counts. And then he goes back to that. Back to A flat major nine again. Back to A flat major nine. And then you got your D flat nine again. And now all you have now is the chorus. So you're not going to return to that E flat major nine the second time. And then this time you're going to go to. Wait a long time. You're gonna get your chance for love. Wait for love. Wait for love. All right, so you got. <laughs> so on your chorus, you got. um This is an E flat with, you know, at nine and it's over G. So you got double G on your left hand. And on your right hand, you have F, G, B flat and E flat. Then you're just going to do a F minor over A flat and just hit that chord, you know? So you got double A flat on the left hand, F, A flat, C. And you're going to play those two chords back and forth as many times, depending on where you are in the song. So you got and play them again. Sometimes love waits so long. Time. Play it again. You're gone. Now the fourth time. Get the love. Wait for love. Wait for love. So there's two chords you add. So okay. So after you. So that fourth time. Dun -dun, what is it? Dun -dun, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna quickly hit this chord, which is um, an A flat major seven over B flat. So it is A flat major seven. So you can do uh, double B flat on your left hand and on your right hand, A flat, C, E flat, G. A flat major seven. And all you're doing is you're just gonna hit that. And then you're gonna come to E major seven. E, B, E on the left hand. 
uh, A flat, B, E flat on the right hand. And then um, depending on where you are in the song, you might go right back to the intro. I know before he does the second verse, the intro plays again. You know, and then he just do the verse and everything. But when you get to the end of the song, he just, it's like he'll just go... And wait for love, wait for love, gotta wait the love that you, you know what I'm saying? He just keeps going back. So sometimes love takes a long time, find the love, and you're gonna get the chance for love. Wait for love, wait for love, get the love. You just had to just keep looping it. You just hit that E major chord and then go right back to get the love. It's like at the end, it fades out. He does that for like two minutes or something, and then it just fades out. But that's all the chords. There's no more chords for me to show you. So um, have fun with it, man. It's, it's, it's nice. It's not, like I said, it's not too hard. Okay. And um, again, if you're pledging under $5 and you would like to have the chord sheet, just send $3 to the PayPal account. It'll be in the description. The link to the PayPal will be in the description of this video. All right, y'all. Catch y'all on the next one. Thanks again, Gary Bailey Jr. for your donation.